Hello viewers, welcome back to Electrology. Today's video is something a bit different from our past videos, but we're excited to explore something new with you. We're taking you to one of India's most beautiful and remote locations, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. But beyond its serene beaches lies a unique challenge. How do these islands manage their electricity grid while being isolated from the Indian mainland? Let's dive deep into the Andaman electricity grid, explore how power reaches its consumers, the challenges faced, and the innovative solutions implemented. This video is based on insights from the Integration Study for Stabilized Grid Operation in Andaman and Nicobar Islands by the Energy and Resources Institute, Terry. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie over 1,300 kilometers away from mainland India, making physical grid connectivity impractical. This isolation means the islands operate a standalone power system, where each inhabited island has its independent generation and distribution network. But what does this mean for the residents and the electricity providers? Port Blair, the capital of the Andaman Islands, houses the largest section of the electrical network. Power generation here primarily relies on diesel generators, solar PV plants, and a few independent power producers. Let's break down the numbers. Chatham Powerhouse, 7.5 megawatts, Phoenix Bay, Powerhouse, 10.8 megawatts, Hiring Power Plants, HPP1 to HPP4, 30 megawatts combined, and solar power plants, 6 megawatts. With a total installed capacity of around 60.3 megawatts, power flows through a 33 kV mesh transmission network, reaching consumers through a series of substations and feeders. Operating an isolated grid in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands comes with its fair share of challenges. One of the most significant hurdles is the high dependency on diesel generators, which are not only expensive to operate, but also contribute substantially to carbon emissions. Weather variability adds another layer of complexity. Frequent cloudy conditions often disrupt solar power output, affecting grid stability. Moreover, the grid faces issues of instability, leading to power fluctuations, voltage drops, and occasional blackouts, especially during peak demand periods. The logistical challenges of transporting diesel and maintaining infrastructure across these remote islands further compound the problem, making the entire operation costly and time-consuming. Despite these challenges, significant steps have been taken to ensure a more stable and sustainable power supply. The Andaman Islands have been focusing on renewable energy integration, with plans for 50 megawatts of solar capacity supported by 20 megawatts, 20 megawatt hours of battery energy storage systems. This not only helps reduce diesel dependency, but also stabilizes the grid against solar intermittency. Another major development is the proposal for a 50 megawatt liquefied natural gas power plant, aimed at providing a cleaner and more reliable energy source. Alongside these initiatives, the grid has undergone modernization, improving communication systems and optimizing load dispatch strategies. Energy management centers have also been set up to aid in demand forecasting and real-time grid monitoring, ensuring a smoother and more efficient operation. These combined efforts are driving the islands toward a greener and more resilient energy future. The Andaman Islands currently generate about 260 million units annually, with a peak demand ranging between 30 to 40 megawatts. The future strategy includes achieving 25% renewable energy penetration and reducing diesel consumption significantly. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands showcase the complexities of managing an isolated grid. With a strong push towards renewables, modernized infrastructure, and smart grid solutions, they are on a path to sustainable energy independence. If you found this deep dive insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Electrology for more electrifying content. If you'd like to support our work, you can make a one-time contribution using the thanks button or become a member by hitting the join button. See you in the next video.